electric power steering, or EPS, or electric power assisted steering, EPAS systems, continue to rise in popularity among automakers. But diagnosing these systems can be a challenge. In this video, let's take a closer look at the sensors that make up these systems. There are a few different types of EPS systems. Some mount the motors onto the steering column, while others are on the pinion shaft against the steering rack, and some are on a secondary pinion gear on the other side of the steering rack. Despite their differences, they all operate with the same goal, assisting the driver when turning the steering wheel. EPS systems apply steering assist force based only on driver input. The system uses input data from a multitude of vehicle sensors to determine how much steering assist force is required. More often than not, the problem ends up being a faulty sensor, wire, or connection somewhere in the system. So what types of sensors are we talking that could be faulty? Well, the steering angle sensor is one. This sensor is located between the steering column and the wheel, and in many cases is actually one part of the sensor cluster. A faulty steering angle sensor reading could mean the difference between making it around a corner or colliding with another vehicle. Having multiple sensors on board to measure the same thing offers built-in redundancy and allows the control unit to confirm the data in real time. Next, the steering torque or force sensor, which is typically mounted on or inside the steering rack and connected to the pinion gear. It is used to measure the amount of steering force that is being applied by the driver. Then the control unit calculates how much steering assist force is needed and applies it using the electric motor. Sensor operation will vary from one manufacturer to the next, so it's best practice to always check the OEM service information before you start with diagnosis. The EPS control unit monitors a number of additional sensors to ensure the system operates efficiently and doesn't overheat. This includes, but is not limited to, the speed and power draw of the electric motor, the temperature of the control unit and electric motor, wheel speed, and the engine speed. All of these sensors and more can be monitored by a scan tool and can be invaluable when diagnosing a faulty EPS system. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tire service and shop operations videos. I'm Maddie Weiner coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.